obviously you got to you got to make sure that, that you're uh, smart in uh, in coverage and, and do some things to you know obviously it begins with the run though you got to you got to stop stop the run just so they can't be you know keep you off balance with run and pass and things like that so you know yeah, I think that's the biggest key and then just just obviously being aware uh, of where he's located what do you like about how your team was able to bounce back this past week after CCU and what do you hope they carry over this week you know it, it's just um, it just again I think I've said this all the way since the Texas game it's just been about consistency I mean and you know, at times when we execute, you know, we look really, really good. And then there's times when uh, when we don't execute at a high level uh, and you're playing really good people, it gets exposed. Um, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is just developing consistency and learning how to stack success, uh, you know, and, and manage that through through your preparation each week and, and continue, hey, the things that you did well the week before, you know, come back and try those things and improve those uh, the next week. So that's been my biggest challenge to them is, is develop consistency. Do you do anything different? You coach and everybody's saying stack success. Do you do anything different during a game week? I mean, you can't really do anything different because then you're changing things up, right? I don't. Well, it, it's really, I mean, honestly, if you, I mean, you look, we had new people on the field last week. So you got to adapt to who you got. It's no different this week, you know. I mean, it's just you got to look at your opponent, and then you just have to, you know, have a foundation that allows you to be multiple yet simple, uh, to where you can execute. So yeah, you can't be just totally revamping everything you do. But obviously, you know, injuries are a part of the game, and and uh, you just got it's got it like I've said all year long. It's got to be that next man up mentality and plug them in and and uh, let them go. That said, you guys at times. Yeah. I mean, how do you think that went for you guys? And is that something that's sustainable going yeah. forward? Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just like last week, you know, Tony was out. And then, you know, then Troy, yeah, we had bumped up. And then all of a sudden, you're just like going, wow. So we just adapted, you know, and we did. We played with two D linemen at a time, four linebackers, uh, you know, and, and, and held up well, uh, you know. And, and again, it, it's game by game, you know. You just and that is, I, you'd, you'd like to be able to build upon what you're saying, you know, uh, from week to week. But sometimes, who you're playing, your opponent, as well as your personnel, kind of dictates that. Any any of those guys in the front seven grade especially high? Maybe. You know, I thought Devin Drew played really well. I thought it was probably one of his best performances. Um, you know, semi going home. So I think he had a little bit of juice in the tank, you know, and he was fired up, played well. I uh, thought he played really well. It was really just almost like, uh, you know, Big Cheetah. I thought he played extremely well, put him in a completely different position, uh, you know, new position. He stepped in there, man, he was physical. I don't know, there's one play, I, I can't remember the play number, but he runs, you know, comes inside, quarterback, breaks containment and he literally runs the guy out of bounds for a two yard gain completely opposite on the side of the field. I mean, it was one of the most impressive plays of the day. I thought, you know, to hope to number one, catch up with that kid and run him out of bounds. That was big time play. So there, there was a lot of, it was really more of a group extra, uh, uh, effort. I thought we really played well as a unit together, you know, uh, the, with the first group. And uh, it, there wasn't really just a bunch of stand. I thought Rabbit was close to having a spectacular game. Uh, we brought him off the edge one time. He, he had a PBU, brought him off the edge again. He, he had an opportunity for a TFL. And then, uh, boy, if he could have had a couple more of those interceptions, he'd had three interceptions, a couple of PBUs, uh, a TFL, he, he would have been, uh, he'd been player of the week for sure. He's been pretty solid. Going what yeah. Have, what, have, I, what have you seen his, in his progression? Well, I, you know, I probably set him up for failure. It goes back to one of those deals, you know, coming out of the West Virginia game, I said, okay, we just played our best game of the year. Lose Reggie, and I'm sitting there like going, okay, gosh. I mean, let's just plug people in here. Let's build on what we did against West Virginia. It really, you know, they were a big 10 personnel team, you know, and I, I think, uh, you know, as I'm looking back on it, you know, having him and, and Fry on the field at the same time, you know, probably put them in a tough situation. That's really not their game, you know. So, um, probably hindsight 2020, I'd probably have to 
but you hate to do that at going right back to your very first question. I mean, don't you want to try to get better at what we're doing and what's, what's been working and been successful uh, outside of one game? And, um, you know, it kind of bit us. What, what are his strong suits? He, he's, uh, I tell you, one, he's an ultimate competitor. I mean, you look at the kid, he's probably, he rushed for 5,000 yards in high school as a running back. Uh, he won four state championships in football. He was a leading rebounder on his basketball team at five foot 10, okay? Um, state championship in basketball. He was a 200 meter state champion uh, in track and field. So I think, you know, I think he, like I said, he has six or so state championships, you know, in his career in high school. And I don't care where you are. I mean, you rest for 5,000 yards. I mean, that's uh, that's impressive. I mean, so he's the ultimate competitor, and uh, he's he's fast. Um, you know, I, I told him honestly. I said your your skill set's very similar to Tyron Matthew. I mean, you, you probably run maybe a little bit better. Uh, he's extremely fast, and uh, but he has that same type body, same type skill set. You know, just a I don't know how you work. Almost like a. He's just a natural in a lot of ways. Just gotta get those hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I had to check see if he had fingers in his gloves. I thought he might have boxing gloves on or something. Coach, you mentioned Deuce. Who else kind of stands out to you on the yeah, state offense? I think he, I think you got to start with the quarterback. He's a senior leader. I mean, he he makes them go. You can tell the players rally around him. They they believe in him. I think that's where it starts. Then you got Deuce, and then you know. Uh, their two little receivers uh, are really good players. You know, Knowles, uh, a good player, good returner as well. Uh, I think that's, you know, and then they got, they got you know, three uh, good-sized tight ends that you, you can't sleep on. You know, they're big up front offensively, yeah, well-coached up front, you can tell. I mean, they, they, they work in, as a unit uh, extremely well. So, it, it uh, you know, we got to raise our level of physicality early in this game and establish that, hey, uh, we're, we're here to play and, and uh, try to make them one-dimensional. Got time for about two more. You mentioned a moment ago that uh, you have to be aware of where Deuce Bond is. I remember the Oklahoma game last year. It seems like he has split out and made a big play for yeah. the team. Uh, how, how much are they yeah. uh, moving him out of that? Yeah, they're, they're, they're smart with him. They're like They'll go empty. They'll put him at one. They'll put him at two. They'll put him at number two to the field. They'll jet sweep with him, you know, out of empty. So that's something obviously you got to know where he is because then they'll they'll, you know, they get they got a nice little package on getting him the ball, you know, getting people spread sideline to sideline and empty the backfield out and uh, do a nice job with that. And then, you know, it it just it, and two it, it's. Not just knowing where he is. I mean, you can know where he is. I mean, when he comes out of that backfield, the problem is once he comes out, now you got to cover him, and and uh, he's explosive and quick, and and just has a, has a nice set of hands and does a really good job catching the ball out of the backfield. So that that's the that's the thing. You just got to be aware of what are the situations, you know, and, uh, and make. But it but it starts with those two guys in the backfield, obviously Deuce and and uh, number seven. All right, thanks, guys.